Just let me start again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At Soho Theatre, it's our mission to find new voices and put them in front of an audience. We work with over 500 young people every year to do exactly that. The opportunities we offer for young people are genuine pathways to our stages. Soho Education helped me to, I suppose, take something that was probably a bit more of a hobby when I started doing it um, into something a bit more serious and seeing how I can kind of plan it as a career. Soho Education helped me to be able to tell stories that I want to tell and to be fearless and bold in my work. Um, and since then, I've had a play go on tour. I'm currently doing an MA in playwriting and screenwriting through a Warner Brothers and Bathurst scholarship. And um, I'm currently one of Soho Theatre's resident writers. The Soho so Education has, young education has helped us uh, get experience, uh, uh, performance skills, yeah. uh, meet new people. It's enjoyable on like a Saturday after a stressful day at college. Just do what you love doing with other people who share the same interest. As well as working with young people in our Soho building in Westminster, we also work with lots of young people aged 10 to 16 in the London Borough of Walton Forest. Walton Forest is actually one of the few boroughs in London that doesn't have a dedicated theatre space. So we take our Soho Young Playwrights project and also our Theatre Makers programme to the streets of Walton Forest, teaching young people to devise and write plays. Some of them are then transferred to our Soho stage here. Where I live in Bermondsey, we don't really have that much of opportunity, but coming to Soho, they have all the equipment and they will help you to progress anything you want to do with your stuff. They'll make sure they'll listen to you so you can never be scared to like perform and present yourself anywhere in the public. Writing often feels like a quite a solitary pursuit and it it's just gives you a real sense of community to come here once a month and to share work and it takes away a lot of that feeling of competition. Without Soho, we, we, we would be out in the streets causing mayhem, ruckus defacing public property, playing around matches, you know, those sort of things. So thank God for Soho. Thank, thank God. Thank God for Soho. No, thank Soho for Soho. It's a really safe space to develop kind of queer alternative material as well if you're nervous about that kind of thing. It's a really open and wonderful environment. So I really recommend it. We give opportunities for young comedians and brand new playwrights to try their work out with professional actors and in a safe rehearsal environment. And if the work's good enough, it goes straight into our programme. Plays like Bitch Boxer have toured the country and had productions as far afield as Athens. So Vita, um has really helped me develop as an artist. Uh, I've taken three of their courses now. I've taken sketch, I've done their writing, and I've done their stand-up comedy. And it, they've really kind of made me into kind of an old rounder. And I went to university for three years, and what I learned here is so much more important than what I've learned from sort of more like traditional education. You are encouraged to take risks, so that means trying things you've never done before, not being afraid of meeting new people, and also learning. Like you're allowed to get it wrong, you're allowed to fail, but that will only make you better. All right, so now the serious bit's over. You lot, come to the show. You're gonna learn that day. <laughs> oh, okay. What are we laughing at? Just you gotta learn today. You gotta learn today. Oh, that's <laughs> that's my show. Oh, right, yeah, you've gotta learn. We're great comedians. <laughs>